What's good, everybody? It's your boy Everton. So today I'm talking about Tello. I've been with the service since January of this year. I'll show my order sheet that shows that I've been with them. But yeah, it's actually a pretty good service. And you know what? To be honest with you, most prepaid services are good around this time. Like I don't haven't really ran into a really bad one. So in order to really set yourself apart, you do have to offer something unique and Tello is super unique. They actually offer three services or features that I really don't see other companies carrying too much. I mean, there's some that carry a version of this. Tello is really unique and I'm gonna go into those things now. And just a heads up, I am an affiliate with Tello. So if you do wanna support the channel, you can click the link in the description or it'll be a pinned comment if you find this video helpful, it will help the channel out. So the first thing is that you can actually restart your plan at any point in time. Now, essentially, what do I mean by this and how does it work? So let's just say that you've used your plan and you know what, something changed, right? You need more data this month. You find out that you're running out of minutes or whatever. You can actually choose at any point in time to restart your plan. Now, the way that this works is that it would actually cancel out whatever you've had before and just start your brand new plan and you get a new cycle right then and there. Now, the thing to know about this is that it will renew your data, but it'll also cancel out the old plan. And canceling out means that anything that you haven't used does get wiped away. So like for me, I did it one time and I had like half a gigabyte of data left and I actually upgraded to the unlimited plan and I lost half that gigabyte of data. So I would say just wait until you have used all of your existing features for that month and then go ahead and upgrade so you can get the most out of it. Now you can also change the plan that you're on. If you figure out that, hey, you know what? I just wanna get way more data. I don't wanna just restart the existing plan that I'm on. You can get way more data. You can say, hey, I would like to now switch to the unlimited plan and they'll just start you on the unlimited plan right then and there. And they do have some other options as well. If you don't want to restart your plan, you can get add-on data. They, it is sold at a premium, so it's not as good of a deal as if you were to restart your entire plan. But I can see some circumstances where people say, hey, you know what? I get paid on the first of every month. I set up my bill to renew on the first of every month. I'm on a strict income, so I'd rather just get the add-on data for now. So that's an option too. But this is the only place where I see that you can actually restart your plan. This is actually different from a lot of other carriers because I'm not gonna lie to you, like sometimes I've been with other carriers and I have ran out of data and I kind of have to suffer through the rest of the month at this slow tear of data. And I'm just waiting for like the last five days to finish so it can restart. Now I can just say, hey, you know what? Nope, I just wanna restart my plan and actually want a different plan or I wanna keep the same plan or whatever I wanna do, I can restart it right away. So I think that's a really cool feature. The second thing is actually WebGuard. Now WebGuard is basically acts as a firewall for your service when you're on the mobile data. Now, essentially what it does, it has three filters and settings that will restrict what your phone can access while you're on their network. So, you know, this is for really managing users that have a certain maturity level that they, you wanna moderate their content to see what they should be exposed to. For me, example, I have a daughter and I don't want her seeing certain things. It's the internet. So, you know, I can have those talks with her, but you know, to really put in that safeguard, you know, I can actually go onto my dashboard and choose a level that's appropriate for, you know, a child or a teenager or a young adult, they have some recommendations, but you can actually just fine tune it to how you, you know, want it to work. Now I have utilized this and it does block out a lot of stuff, but it's not bulletproof. And what I mean by that is that if you're on Wi-Fi, someone's Wi-Fi, then it doesn't work. It can only block it at the network level. If you're using another Wi-Fi, which is not Telos network, then it really can't do its job too well. It's not available on every browser, but for me, the ones that I use, I use Firefox and Chrome and Safari, it has worked really well. So it supports it on a lot of major stuff. And secondly, it is not 100% proof, right? It blocks about most of the stuff, but I've went on a website that I feel like is too mature for my daughter to, to go to. Um, it's not explicit all the time, but sometimes there's like some stuff on there that I'm like, nah, I don't want her seeing this. And I've gotten access to that even with the filter on. So it's it targets some major ones and it'll block those out, but there are some things that you can still get through. So definitely have that talk. But having some type of safeguard or parental control, I haven't seen on any, any other carrier. Now the third thing and the last thing that I really like about this service that's a unique feature is their account dashboard because they actually show you like your usage history. But when it comes to actual usage, 
call history, packets of data. That way that you have the full transparency of how you use your data. Tello really has the full transparency for you. So you can actually go into your dashboard and see, well, you know, well, I call this person that number or I use internet at this point in time. There's a certain level of transparency that allows you to continue to just basically monitor how you use your plan to see what's really best for you. For me personally, I run a lot of speed tests and sometimes I might blow through like four gigabytes of data. And I'm like, man, I don't remember that a week later. Like, what did I do on the 12th? that ate up on my data. Oh yeah, that's right. I ran a speed test, et cetera, et cetera. I might not remember what I did, but just having that transparency there allows me to see how I've used my data. There are other companies that really don't show you too much transparency at all. With Mint Mobile, they don't show you like the usage history. They just show you like how much you've used since their slows down after a certain point period of time. But this one here shows you how much you've used out of your entire plan. And you can also go to the detail level to see what you use it on. So I think it's actually a really good feature. But at the end of the day, guys, I mean, those are just three things that I really love about Tello. Um, they're really unique and I can only get them on Tello. But like I said, the service is fast, call quality is great. They have a customer service number. They're a really complete plan and I really like it. I really enjoy it. But either way, guys, in the comments, let me know if you find these to be valuable. And also just a reminder that my affiliate link is in the pinned comments and also in the description of this video. Click on it. It'll help the channel out. Cost you nothing. But until next time, I'm Everton and I do videos Everton's way. Peace.